This chart on the Nikon website shows you how you can use different ISO values to shift your dynamic range source shadows or the highlights. We're going to test that. So starting here with the base ISO of 800, exposing for the mids, very basic Rec. 709 conversion and uh, some highlight recovery. Then we move on to 200 ISO. Uh, you notice here that the shadows are actually a lot cleaner. And, uh, but of course, the highlights are clipping sooner. And then for 3200 ISO, it's the other way around. You have more highlight information that you can recover, but the shadows definitely take a hit. And here we just have a side-by-side -side comparison so we can have a closer look at what each ISO uh, is doing in terms of uh, shadows and then highlights, but also some shadows. Here we have the same exact footage uh, as we just saw for 800, 200, and 3200. Difference being that I'm changing the ISO of all footage, making sure that it's all set to 800 ISO via camera raw, and uh, then you know adjusting the primaries uh, after that just to try and match exposure again. So it should have similar-ish results to what we saw before, but there might be some advantages here and there. And once again, here is a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. And again, the same uh, 800 ISO base footage. And we're doing a just a back-to-back -back comparison to the 200 ISO footage, which is right here. 200 ISO out of camera, then you know making some minor adjustments in uh, Resolve, and then we have the same 200 ISO footage, but we're changing it to 800 ISO in camera raw within Resolve, and then making adjustments that way. Um, each of them have their <laughs> different flavors. Let's just call it that. Uh, but you can once again see here that the 200 ISO options definitely preserve the shadows a lot better, um, a lot cleaner, but of course uh, the highlights get uh, a lot more blown out. And once again, uh, but doing this now with uh, 800 ISO versus 3200 ISO. Uh, so you'll see here that we have 3200 ISO right at a camera. Primary adjustments just to try and match exposure as best as possible, maybe not perfectly. Uh, and then again, same footage, but changing the ISO to 800 first via camera raw before making those adjustments and seeing what results we get. And here, once again, is uh, the side by side showing uh, how each of these options will uh, handle both shadows and highlights. And here we have a recap of all uh, the previously seen footage, but with some noise reduction added, starting with 800 ISO, then 200 ISO right out of camera, quote unquote. Then 200 ISO, but changing to 800 ISO and camera raw before making adjustments. 3200 ISO, once again, quote unquote, right out of camera. And finally, 3200 ISO, changing it to 800 ISO and camera raw before any adjustments. And as a bonus for good measure, here I am exposing for highlights and you know making some attempt to uh, recover what's going on in the shadows. Started with 800 ISO, um, now moving to 200 ISO, quote unquote, right out of camera, as mentioned before. Then 200 ISO, but changing it to 800 before any adjustments. And yeah, at this point, you know, we're at 3200 ISO, exposed for highlights, trying to recover shadows. Just don't do this. <laughs> 
just try not to do this. It's not it's not really the best way to go about it. Uh, but showing it just for the sake of showing it. Anyway, thanks for watching.